Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is the Spirit Font. We're taking a look at your energies for October 2020. This is a general reading, guys. It cannot resonate with every Scorpio on the planet. If it doesn't resonate, keep looking here on YouTube. I promise you'll find the perfect reading for you for right now. But for the people who this reading is for, let's get started. All right, Scorpio, um, excuse the background noises. It's raining here. It's actually quite beautiful. I'm enjoying it. But if you hear any kind of weird sounds, that's probably what that is, all right? So guys, in the month of October, I feel like there's something coming in and it's coming in very quickly. It's some form of communication that I don't even think you're expecting or maybe you are expecting it. Maybe you've been waiting for it. Maybe it's been taking a while, but I think in the month of October, this information is going to be coming in. I say that because at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, the card of fast communication. Following the Eight of Wands, we have the Three of Cups. Because this card came out after the card of communication, I feel like someone's coming in from your past to try and reunite with you, reconcile with you. Maybe they have an apology for you, an offer for you. But I feel like it's someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. Maybe you're not even expecting this person, but they have something that they want to communicate to you. And I think it's coming in the month of October. However, well, actually, I think this person wants to communicate that they want a new start with you. This might be an ex. I actually do think that this is an ex. This is someone that you tried with in your past. But, um, yeah, it didn't go too well, clearly. Um, that's why this reading is going this way. But I feel like this person missed you in the interim. And I feel like they want to come back and offer you something new or... Just try and patch things up and apologize maybe even just ask you to be friends but i do feel like this person wants to reconcile reunite and maybe take things off from where they ended maybe offer you the cup that they couldn't offer you before i don't know but for some reason i feel like you're over this person i feel like this full card also indicates that you on your own scorpio are ready for a new start or you're already on that journey you've already began the journey you're kind of not looking back anymore so this person who's coming from your past might be coming in with this communication and might not even realize that you don't care anymore wow yeah i really feel like that's what's going on here this person hurt you they lied to you they cheated maybe they stole maybe they just weren't reciprocating all they did was take 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 your love but they wouldn't give it back something about this person's energy was very egotistical where it feels like they were doing things just for themselves and not for the relationship that hurt you that left you feeling really beaten and bruised and this poor guy's been through it all right he's been through the war He's feeling very apprehensive. He's holding that wand really close to his heart because he's defensive. His defenses are up. He's been hurt so many times. However, the nine of wands came out in reverse, guys. So I feel like this is old energy for you. Like I said, I feel like you've healed or you're healing. You're in the process of healing. You're leaving this nine of wands energy in the dust. And that's why it's come out in reverse. However, guys, just be aware of the fact that this seven of swords is still upright. This person, maybe they've tried to heal a little bit. Maybe they see where they went wrong. But I don't think they've fully let go of that ego, to be honest. Or those playerish ways, those sneaky ways that make you feel unsafe and unstable in your own relationship there's still something about this person that i don't think you can fully trust i mean this is a general reading guys you're gonna have to use your own intuition and your own just your own smarts like if this person comes and apologizes to you and you're looking them in the eye and you can tell that this person is genuinely sorry then you know, maybe this energy is in the process of turning upside down for that specific person. But 
if you can see or feel that this person is just apologizing to kind of tell you what they think you want to hear so that they can get whatever it is that they want from you, then you need to keep those defenses up and keep going on this journey, guys, because I promise you there's something so beautiful coming your way. This is who you are walking towards. You are walking towards yourself in the best light ever. You are going towards your empress mode. This empress is sitting on her throne. She has everything that she needs and there's her little wand for manifestation. Anything that she wants, she just taps into the universe and the universe brings it to her feet, literally. This is the energy that you are going towards. Should you continue on this journey and leave this guy behind? Leave him. I'm sorry. There's something about this person's energy that's so unstable, indecisive. Look at these waves, guys. And then look at how stable this person's perch is. Do you see the difference in these two's energy? There's something that's still unfortunately undeveloped about this person that's trying to come back towards you they're still very immature i don't know if it's age or just life experience i don't know there's something about this person that they bring a very sneaky egotistical unstable and just unbalanced energy into your field and that takes you off your own stability because this is who you are scorpio you're an empress you are so in tune with the universe, all right? And you should be able to just snap your fingers and manifest, but you are also a water sign. So it's also very easy for you to get mucky and dirty with other people's vibrations. You need to protect yourself. You need to stay in this nine of wands energy. Keep that shield around you and keep it moving, all right? I think that this is a reading that, yes, someone is coming towards you and you're going to get your clarity. You're going to get your justice. But I don't think that that means you should go back. It just means that this person might truly be sorry. They really do regret what they did. But have they grown? And are you willing to sit there and wait for them to grow? You're going to get your justice. You will get your apology. You will get that conversation with them. It's coming in quick. This reading is a clear warning. Something from your past wants to come back and reunite with you. But this person is still... They're still a little unstable, all right? It cannot be clearer. I mean, guys, it, it literally cannot be clearer. Look at the card that came up from the Enchanted Map deck making a choice the month of october you're gonna have to make a choice which path are you going to go down are you going down the same path you've been on with this person for who knows months years freaking decades maybe you've been married to this person and that's why the justice card came out maybe now it's time to divorce this person and find your own equilibrium on your by yourself maybe that's why the justice card came out um, maybe there's a more of a legal aspect to this breakup and if that's the case i truly do apologize but if this person if cheated on you and they're coming in with an apology but they still have that same energy where they haven't worked on themselves that this card comes out in reverse where you can trust them this card in reverse means trust this card upright means sneaky motherfucker excuse my language Look at the card. It cannot be sneaky. Look at him. He's so sneaky. I hate that card. Anyway, <laughs> card number 30 came out, guys. Are you going to go back down that same route or are you going to go find another route? Look at those doves. There's something waiting for you, guys. As soon as you step in there and you step into your empress mode. Wow, actually, look what's at the bottom of the deck. The star card. As soon as you step into this portal, you're going to find something beautiful. I promise you, okay? So just give me a second. I want to read from the Enchanted Map deck book and just see what little extra messages we can find for you that might correlate with the reading. 
okay wow so it's it's literally can't be any clearer guys it's everything that i was saying someone's coming in and they're gonna try to stir your heart up and it's gonna be hard because you do care for this person i think you invested a lot in this person and they're gonna be very charming and enticing um but you need to make the choice to move on all right you're faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a choice regarding the next right action. Whatever your choice is, you must take responsibility for it. Yet, you needn't be afraid. You, have not all, you may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Literally, so you're standing here right now. You have no idea was behind either of these doors even if you do take this person back and you you don't know like maybe they really have changed and then you step into that portal and things are great or you choose to go on your own and then down the line this person maybe comes back and now they are ready to be everything you've ever wanted or you go into that portal and you're on your own for a few months or you you meet someone in the next couple of days like you never know what the universe has planned for you like but you need to make the choice and you need to communicate stand in your empress mode and communicate clearly with the universe like clearly have a conversation universe this is what i want and then take those steps all right take those steps with faith and just trust all right literally the next word that comes out from the book is trust <laughs> trust your intuition ask for a sign from spirit and you will be led on the right path if you remain conscious and aware your choice will be the right one at this time life is always about learning success lies in choosing consciously guided by intuition and spirit i think that's so beautiful it really is beautiful like i was saying like there's a lot of spirit the universe conscious thinking that's going to be happening for you in the month of October. I think maybe you need to maybe meditate a little bit more so you can receive those messages from spirit a little bit better. Okay. All right, guys, I'm just going to finish off by clarifying the whole reading with the Light Seers Tarot deck. I love this um, deck of cards they're like literally my favorite anyway let us continue are you kidding me guys <laughs> this person really wants to come back three of cups has come out but it came out in reverse oh my lord i cannot make this stuff up you guys three of cups everything that i've just said this person's coming back they want to reunite with you but they're gonna be a little shocked to find that you've turned your back on this person like uh -uh, no thanks we can have the conversation let's get our closure this is what i have to say i want to hear what you have to say but are we gonna reconcile uh, i don't think so because i don't think i trust you i really don't oh wow look at the bottom of the deck here the Wheel of Fortune. Sorry, you can't even see. Guys, there's something really magical waiting for you. I promise. And you might be really scared right now because, hey, some people don't want to be single. Some people fear being alone. Some people think that, oh, no one else will ever love me, which is so far from the truth. But you need to just make the choice to trust yourself, to trust the universe, and to trust the process. Trust the process make the choice move away pack your bags and go the six of swords yeah, and you're not going to be going happily because like i said this person hurt you they they caused a lot of damage yeah they cheated or they did something but you you can do this on your own and who knows what's behind the next what's the next chapter you know but you can't you can't stay stuck in the same cycle and expect different results like it's impossible you have to make the decision to sit in your queen of swords and be alone like be independent be strong be an individual when this person comes back you're gonna queen of swords them you're gonna chop 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 them out of your life because no their energy is foul guys i can just their energy is foul you know 
and your energy, all of your cards are coming upright and like strong and powerful and an individual who's standing on their own, like in their own power, like a real empress. That's what you need to work on for the month of October. And I promise the portal will lead you to places you can't even imagine. All right. Wow, Scorpio. I can't believe reconciliation came out, but like in reverse, like this is their energy, them wanting to come back. And this is your energy being like, nope, turned my back, got my girlfriends and I'm off and I'm going to go take care of myself. I'm out. <laughs> wow. This is actually quite a lovely reading, Scorpio. Like, um, you're going to be okay. Stay strong, all right? If this reading resonates, guys, please like, subscribe, um, find my stuff on Instagram. It's the Spirit Font Tarot Yoga and Reiki. If you're into Reiki and yoga as well, you might enjoy that page. If not, guys, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you on the next reading. Love you. Bye.